Hi everyone, it's Linnea for LDRS Creative. I have a really fun but easy card to share with you today, and it's bringing in something unexpected, a see-through element. I love to create clean and simple cards. That's my style, it's what works best for me, but I always try to add something that's a little bit of something unexpected, so maybe a see-through element, a shaker, or some glitz and glam somewhere. I grabbed the One Fine Day 6x6 paper pack and I flipped through and I found this rainbow striped paper that I absolutely love. Now usually I don't show you adhering my card together, I like to work on my card panel and then at the very last second adhere it to my card base, but this card, because I'm doing something fancy, I need to add it to my card base now. So I just added some adhesive to the back of that pattern paper, added that to my card base, I've grabbed the lovely wildflower cluster die. You could use the lovely peony cluster die here if you want to. I'm going to tape that in place using some low tech tape. And remember that this is on an actual card base and I wanna die cut this so that I have a cutout through the center of my card. Remember to open your card base. I have forgotten to open my card base before and it just ends in disaster. I have just a regular size die cutting machine with a six by nine plate. So it kind of takes some um, trickery and moving your die around, make sure that it's at a diagonal to make sure that you're not going to get your card base stuck in your die cutting machine. So remember, just open up your card base and run that through your machine at a diagonal. What you're going to be left with is this lovely wildflower cluster die, which I don't need, but I'm going to pop out those pieces and set that aside because that would be great for a second card. I have the top of my card is still stuck to my base and then the bottom piece is just kind of free floating. I want to be able to complete a finished looking card. So this is a completely optional step, but I've cut a piece of white card stock to the size of a card, four and a quarter by five and a half. I have put that inside of my card base and then I have kind of puzzle pieced my die, tucked that up against the die cut piece, taped that in place and run that through my die cutting machine. And you'll see how I'm going to use that in just a moment here. I've opened my card and I'm going to add some adhesive onto the back of that die cutout. I have a scrap piece of acetate. It's almost the size of my card front, but it doesn't need to be that large. I added adhesive and now I'm going to just stick that card down onto the acetate. So you can see here that my acetate is kind of forming a bridge between the top of my die cut panel and the bottom. I'm going to trim away any excess acetate. It's kind of hard to trim acetate because you can't really see it in your paper trimmer. So I always end up cutting mine just a little bit larger and I can trim that later. Now here you want to do as I say, not as I do. I adhered that bottom piece of paper onto my acetate which we will do eventually, but I want to be able to add that lovely wildflower die cut embellishment onto the acetate. So I'm going to end up removing that bottom piece. And because it's on acetate, the glue takes a little longer to dry, so it peels up. Here's where we're gonna use that second piece of cardstock. You can see the glue through the acetate and it doesn't really look very pretty. So I added that second die cut piece and I'm just going to back those die cut pieces that are on the front, hiding the adhesive and making the front of this card stronger. Since we've removed about a third of the card front, it's a little bit weak. So adding those extra cardstock panels strengthens the card. Now here's where I went ahead and I removed that bottom die cut piece with the pattern paper. And instead I'm going to first add these lovely wildflower cluster dies. I've cut Four of them. I'm going to stack three together right on top of each other using just tiny little dots of liquid adhesive to create a dimensional embellishment. Once I have three stacked together, I'm going to add tiny dots of glue once again to the back of them and tuck them, puzzle piece them inside of that pattern paper. Because I use the same die to cut this embellishment as well as from the front of my cardstock, it'll puzzle piece right inside perfectly. And here is where you can see this is why I removed that bottom piece. I wanted to make sure everything was tucked in nice and snug and so it's much easier to have the top pattern paper piece piece those flowers right up inside and then add the bottom piece on. Again, for a finishing touch, I've cut an extra one of those lovely wildflower cluster dies and I'm just going to add that to the inside of my card. 
You don't have to, that's optional. It's just a finishing detail that I like to add. Because this card is see-through, I wanted to add something on the inside of my card that was going to catch the recipient's attention. I started with the Pistachios of Plenty hybrid ink, but I just didn't think that that was, it wasn't jiving with me that day. So instead I reached for Fandango and actually this worked out really well because it matches the color on the bottom of that striped One Fine Day pattern paper piece. So it looks like a cohesive card and I just liked this color a whole lot better. I'm using an LDRS Creative blending brush and I'm starting at the bottom of my cardstock and fading out as I go up towards the top. So every time I bring in more ink, I'm starting at the bottom and that's going to make sure that I have a darker concentration of ink at the bottom and lighter up at the top. I want to finish this card with a simple sentiment. So I grabbed the Everyday Saying stamp set and I'm going to stamp You Make Me Smile. I stamped this with both Raven and that Fandango ink and I just wasn't loving the Fandango ink. I always think I'm going to try a colored sentiment, but it's just not me. I much prefer a black sentiment. I think they're bolder and easier to read. So I went with the Raven stamped sentiment. I cut that out with the Everyday Sayings die set, and I also use that same die set to create a shadow piece. And I cut two of those shadows, again, so that I can add my sentiment on the outside of my card and then flip open to the inside panel of my card and just adhere that second shadow die to the inside to create a finishing touch. Completely optional, you don't have to do it, but I think it just kind of finishes the card. So this is it. I love this subtle see-through window. It's something unexpected and it's something that you can easily add to a clean and simple card. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye.